Hello fam, my name is Wamboy Donkia and welcome to another episode. So I'll teach you one thing that has been getting most of my prayers answered. This I learned from a friend. So I'll teach it from a friend now to you, my friends. So uh, assuming you went to a crowd of people, you are like 50 females in a room. And then somebody came and said, you woman, come here. Would you know that person is talking to you? No, you wouldn't because we are in the room. It contains plenty of women. But what if your name is Joyce and then the person comes and says, Joyce, can you come forth? You will go forth. Why? Because you know they are calling you by your name. So a friend once told me uh, about taught me about calling the name of Jehovah. The words of the word of God says in uh, in Romans ten thirteen, whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord. So what I learned it's the name Lord doesn't present the name of God. It's not Yahweh. It's not uh, Jehovah. It's not. El Shaddai, the, the name Lord does not present the name Jehovah or Yahweh or El Shaddai. And that's why we say landlord. He's the Lord of that land. We say to you are in, in court, you say, my Lord. That is uh, calling on the judge, my Lord, this is my plea. Even us as women, in, in, in older days, we were supposed to call our husbands, my Lord. You'd go and serve him tea and say, my Lord. So the name Lord does not present the name of Jehovah. And something that really stood out for me is this. This is my Bible. You know, the, there is something that Satan don't want people to know. And it's so wrong. So this is the this is the good news Bible. And a lot of translation Bible have actually to, have actually erased this and replaced it. This is a very actually you'd never thought of reading the preface from the Bible. I don't know if you can see this because of the light, but this is the preface. Not many people think of reading the preface when it comes to the Bible. This is just a small part. I read it to you. Following the ancient tradition begun by the first trans trans translation, sorry, translation of the Hebrew scriptures into Greek and followed by the vast majority, majority of the English transaction, the distinctive Hebrew name of God Usually transliterated, transliterated Jehovah or Yahweh is in this in is in this translation represented by is in this translation represented by Lord. <laughs> when Adonai normally translated Lord is followed by Yahweh. The combination the combination is rendered by the phrase sovereign lord so every time you see the name lord in the bible stands for jehovah yahweh or adonai and when you see the name yahweh translated to sovereign god i'm asking how big is the name of jehovah how big is the name yahweh that it cannot be written yahweh it has to be written lord how big is it how long is it but in the same same scripture, we can read the name of, of Baal, we can name the name of Bezebul, those are the gods. We can name that the, the, uh, we can they, they write the name of Molech, the god Molech, but the name of Jehovah is not written. So let me tell you something, my dear Christians. If you want to get your prayers answered, call on the name of Jehovah, you shall be saved. Jehovah, God of heaven and earth, rescue my child. Jehovah, God of heaven and earth, give me employment. Jehovah, God of heaven and earth, help me pass my grave. Jehovah, God of heaven and earth, help me get a job. Jehovah, Adonai, Yahweh, bless me with a spouse. You will get what you need if you call upon the name of the Lord. I'll pin other scriptures that say the same, even Acts. Whoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. I called on the name of the Lord, Psalms, I think, 143. I called on the name of the Lord and he answered me. So um, this is go go actually go to the preface of most Bibles, most translation actually, they have excluded excluded sorry excluded the name Jehovah and placed it with the name Lord. So when you are calling Lord Lord help me, who are you really calling? Is it your landlord? Is it the Lord of the law? Is it your husband? Which Lord are you calling? Because that is not the name of Jehovah. 
Mm-mm. That is not the name of our God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Talk to Jehovah as if he's your father. Call him by his name. And that's why even in classroom, teachers care to find out your name because you'll be a lot of students and teachers ask a question and you're like, okay, teacher, teacher me. What if he said you and you? He must know your name. Mercy, Liz, John, Mary, Otieno, Patrick. You see, he will mention your names. So um, that is what I wanted to teach you today. Call on the name of Jehovah and you shall be saved. And your prayers will get answered. Be blessed. And kindly do subscribe, like, and share. And help this video to get to the person that is intended to.